Well, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a new video guys. So today we're actually gonna be taking the truck to North South. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of a mod to the truck. Pretty much we're just gonna be painting the wheels black. I feel like it's been needing it for a while now. North's gonna be painting his wheels. I'm gonna be painting my wheels. Figured I would go ahead and record this for you guys. Get some more truck content. I know a lot of you guys like it. Uh, a lot of you guys are here for BMW stuff though for the most part. But uh, we're gonna go ahead, load up the truck with everything that I need. And then we're gonna go ahead and head off to North House. Alright guys, so we made it to Norris house. Uh, we got the truck over here. Um, so I actually cleaned the truck a few days ago and what I did, I tried to deep clean the wheels as best as possible. But if you look back here, there's still like a ton of brake dust. So we're going to be taking off the wheels, uh, cleaning off as much as the, of the brake dust as possible and then spray painting it. So I have the spray paint over here. So I got everything I need in here. So I got some cleaning supplies and then I got a ton of different types of spray paint. So I got the primer that we need and then I'm either gonna go semi semi gloss black or full gloss black for the wheels now realistically these wheels are just the stock wheels and I just I just want them to look a little bit different I'm, I was thinking black would look good on them maybe eventually down the road I'll upgrade to a different set of wheels but right now I don't really want to spend too too much money on this truck I just wanted to keep it like a reliable daily anyway we got Nor over here and then we got <laughs> am I allowed to show it you already showed it right so we got Nor's new truck over here this thing is a beast guys he was just showing me it so what, what do you want to tell me about it oh I got this for literally five thousand dollars worth more than what Jonathan's truck is worth. I know it's crazy. I got this for a crazy good deal. Well, there's a reason why. Yeah. So if we look over here, though. So in the interior, oh, I think I locked it. So the airbags are blown. Both current airbags. Current airbags uh, are I blown. I had to gut the whole interior because of the airbag modules. Other than that, both seat belts are also seized, so I have to rebuild those. But this is the primary yeah, back here. This like quarter panel damage stuff over here. I mean, if you show them the angle right here, like that just needs to get pulled out. Yeah, that shit. it really only needs to get pulled out. You're right. No damage happened inside the bed, which is my biggest concern before you know buying it online. I bought it sight unseen, so yeah, that's true. Um, that was a fear of mine. But luckily, it just I mean, like pull that out, you're good to go. Bro, this paint though, dude. The paint's the nice, red looks right? so that, good. I it looks better red. than my red on my car. <laughs> 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 oh, that'd be pretty sick, that though. Would be freaking sick, so. But yeah, guys. Anyway, I think what we're gonna go ahead and do, let's go ahead and get the wheels off of my truck and start uh, the painting process. All right, guys. So we got the first wheel off. So as you can see, this is why I wanted to take off the wheels so I can clean the back because these are just like horrendously break dust. Like it's just all bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some wheel cleaner on here and then just pressure wash it off and hopefully it will come off as best as possible. All right guys, so we pretty much got it all sanded down now on the front and back. Now, I'm not expecting these to be perfect. I'm just sanding it down enough so that you see these like little black marks right over here that's pretty smooth and this is pretty smooth. Good enough for what I need it for. So now the next part is to prep the tire. I'm gonna cover off the tire while I paint the uh, wheel and then we're gonna go ahead and start painting with some primer. Let's go ahead and get started on that.
Alrighty guys, so that's one wheel on. <laughs> <laughs> Those look so much better with the black wheels compared to like the like silver alloy. I don't even know what it is, but look at this black compared. Once I lower it, it's gonna look a little bit better. Um, bro, that actually looks so good. I'm really happy with that. Okay, let's go ahead and put on the other side real quick. So we're back home now. Um, we got the truck right over here. So we ended up painting the fronts as well. We got the rears done and then the fronts. Um, so it's looking way more aggressive. It almost looks aftermarket if you ask me. So pretty much after I recorded those two rears, I went ahead and took off the fronts and did the fronts too. I didn't record it because I ran out of battery, but I ended up getting it done. I was helping Nora with his wheels as well. So his wheels are all done too and those look really good. So if you look right over here, this is kind of what it looks like with like the side profile. And I'll throw up a picture of like the before, what it looked like before, but the black wheels, what it ended up doing Doing. So I sanded down all the wheels and then I primered it, painted it, and then clear coated it as well. And I ended up painting these uh, nuts for the wheels as well. And then this little like hub thing right here, I painted these black on every single one. So it kind of like fits the whole aftermarket. I was missing one of the hubcaps. So I only had three hubcaps. So I figured I would just leave the hubcaps off and not mess with the hubcaps because I think it looks more aggressive like this. Let me know what you guys think. Should I get another hubcap, paint the hubcap, or should I just leave it like this? This kind of leaves it like the off-road look. Um, it's kind of hard to believe that these are actually the OEM wheels for this truck because it actually looks really good. I'm super happy with it. It kind of changed like the whole look of the truck. Now it feels like an off-road truck. I think we're gonna go ahead and chrome delete the rest of the truck in another video. Probably sand this down. I'll probably make a how-to video on how to sand this down. I just haven't gotten around to doing that. And then the truck is slowly coming together. I just wanted to look more presentable. It kind of looked really rough before and now the wheels change it drastically. So let me know what you guys think of the truck now. What other stuff should we do to the truck? It is a work truck, so I don't really want to spend a crazy ton of money on it. I'd rather spend the money on my 335, but I still want to do some cheap budget mods on this thing. So let me know what you guys think down below. But here it is one last time with the wheels. Now me and Nor both have trucks. We're rocking the truck gang. So let me know if you guys like the truck content because we're probably going to be making some more truck content, um, but we're also going to be making some more all around content as well. Without further ado guys, remember to follow me on Instagram. I actually changed my Instagram handle name uh, from weeks underscore two underscores to weeks whips. I thought it sounded better. I just wanted to change it up. I think it sounds a lot better. So let me know what you guys think of that as well, but make sure to go check it out down below. Remember to subscribe down below as well. We just hit 7,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you guys. Remember to stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that project car. I will catch you guys later.